is sometimes it's really difficult to get our students to elicit a response in class. So a strategy that instructors can use is to double wait time after asking a question so students have a time to process the answer. For example, if I were to ask you, we'll use a math question, what is, um, what's 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8? It's 20. Now you're probably saying to yourself, oh, you didn't give me enough time, I was going to get there. And this is how language students are. They need a little bit more time to process the information. They know how to do it, how to add the 2 plus the 4 plus the 6 plus the 8, but it takes more time. So as an instructor, if you take that time and give them, instead of the three or four seconds of wait time, try stretching it to 20 or 30 seconds, the students will have more time to process and they'll feel more comfortable and will be able to give an answer. Same thing, if you're a student, ask your teacher, say, hey, don't tell me yet, give me a second to really think it through. And you'll find that if you give that, ex given that extra process time, you'll come up with the answer. So if you're an instructor, when you give the question, zip her up. Only one uncomfortable during the wait time is you. Give your students the same amount of time. And students, if you're the one that's uh, trying to find the answer to that question, really take your time, tell your professor or instructor to hold off, and then answer that question. Good luck.